back. A perfect day for In the Kitchen with John Hickey. A lot of munchies going on today with the Super Bowl. Yeah, and people are looking for maybe a fresh take on a, on a classic sure. or just a fresh take on a new recipe. So we've all had hot wings, but how about some buffalo cauliflower bites? That's what we're whipping up In the Kitchen at Healthy Living in South Burlington this morning. I wanted to get a little appetizer together. This is going to be buffalo cauliflower bites. Nice. So not chicken. This is an awesome vegetarian dish. Um, really fun for the big game. Mm -hmm. Something to set out for vegetarians and meat eaters. So to start, I'm just going to snip off the end, just like so. So now we can take off these last outer leaves. Awesome. So now we have this little core that's still there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to take my knife and just kind of shimmy that off. OK. Like I said, still trying not to hit those florets. And from here, we're going to cut this right down the middle. All right. Break your cauliflower into florets onto a parchment-lined baking sheet. Drizzle your cauliflower with some olive oil. Just enough to kind of coat them, I'd say probably like a tablespoon or two. Do you want to toss those together? Sure. The oil is really going to help them to get brown and get that flavor I was talking about. Pop your cauliflower into an oven that's been preheated to 450 degrees. Cook time is about 25 minutes. We'll know that they're ready when they're browned and tender. Now we're going to make our blue cheese dressing. Okay. Um, I like to make my blue cheese dressing with no mayonnaise. I just think it's more delicious. I think you can enjoy it more. And it's actually more cooling. It kind of cools down your palate more when you go to dip it. Uh, Add buttermilk, cream. sour cream, and blue cheese into a bowl. Give that a mix. So there we go. We've got that. Also add in some fresh ingredients too, like lemon zest, lemon juice, chives and parsley. You'll want a clove of garlic, fresh cracked pepper, and salt too. Shouldn't need too much because we've got that cheese in there. Then whisk that all together. That looks beautiful. So we're going to quickly make our sauce. I'm going to fire this up. Start by cooking up some butter and garlic in a saucepan over medium high heat. And once we have like a nice butter coating on the bottom, we can start to add that garlic. And as soon as that butter's melted, I'm going to have you grab that Frank's hot sauce. And that little one over there is just one tablespoon of sriracha hot sauce. Sriracha is a little more spicy, but also less vinegary and a little more sweet. Also add a tiny Every pinch of salt ground. and finally ground pepper. Only pointer I'll give is, do you see how it's bubbling more on the sides? Yep. Make sure you just always give it a nice big like scoop around those sides and kind of try to throw that in the middle. So we know everything's cooking evenly because the sides always get a little hotter. And it's ready. And just kind of scoop them up like this. Dump it all right into our bowl. Add in your hot, hot sauce and give it a toss. All right. Nothing left to do now but dig in. And there we go. Can you handle this spicy? We're going to find out. Maybe yeah. do extra blue cheese to cool it down. Ah, if you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly. There we go. Or more of a koala. That works. So, um. Yeah, I'm not even a fan of like really, really spicy stuff, but that's not. There's enough there, especially with a little extra blue cheese. Yeah. You're just totally fine. And the cauliflower, like, it's hearty, it has body, mm -hmm. so it, it works as a chicken. It's a really nice alternative to a standard buffalo wing. Totally recommend these buffalo cauliflower bites, and not just because I already ate it, but I can assure you it'll be pretty tasty. So why not head to In the Kitchen? You can just search that on our website, WPTZ.com. You can see this video again, as well as the full listing of this recipe and all of the recipes from our In the Kitchen series.